YouTube, hey, YouTube, hey. So I've watched Fantastic Beasts and where the bloody hell are they? Are they about? Have you seen them? There they are. They're in the case. I watched that and it's a, uh, okay, it's, it's a it's a weird movie to talk about. I'm going to do non-spoilers, all right? Just total non-spoilers. I might go into spoilers because there are some things that weren't talking about in another video. But uh, for the most part, it follows the story of a, a magizoologist called Newt Scamander who's coming to America for reasons. Uh, so he's in New York, he runs across this muggle, he doesn't obliviate him whenever he's, whenever his, uh, whenever he bumps in and have, has a classic sort of swaps the cases, oh no, no, no dear, my, my case full of magical beasts is in the wrong hands, some magical beasts escape, and then not chaos ensues, uh, and it's not even, the story isn't even really about that, the story is about some more deeper, darker goings on with the magical government of the United States, or the, Maku the Makusa for short, which is a terrible term. Um, yeah, and it's uh, and and the beasts that that plot line is just interwoven in this. Again, it's a hard movie to talk about without spoilers. Now, if you're going into this expecting, oh wow, it's a full-on Harry Potter prequel, it's not like, at all. It's it's really not. It's a prequel to some stuff that will tie into Harry Potter, and there are Easter eggs and there are nods akimbo. You'll you'll see them if you're smart. You'll understand what 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 they're what they're referring to. Um, I mean, there's a. It goes from the overt to less, less, less overt, covert. That's by the by, though. Um, the cast in this film: Eddie Redmayne plays the title character. No, well, not title. The Newt commander of the of the role. Him, him, that guy. Uh, and I, it feels a lot like he's playing Matt Smith's doctor. There are similarities: bow tie, long coat, big. Box that's bigger on the inside, stick thing that doesn't work against wood. It doesn't, yeah. But anyway, uh, he's not as foppish or annoying as I thought he was going to be, as the trailers tell you. So he was pretty good. Uh, he has a love interest who's just kind of there. She's just there. But her sister, though, a character called Queenie, she's amazing. She's a revelation. She's got real heart, real innocence. She's sexy, but not in like a, a very on the nose, trashy way, um, and you fall for it. But the real steal of this movie is kind of like our entrance, not our entrance, because we've been here before, but um, the nomad muggle of this uh, character of, the, of this ensemble is a guy called Jacob, who's played by Dan Fogler, from, who I know from Fanboys. Uh, and he, him, you feel for him. It's it, He goes through an arc here. He's introduced to this weird world and weird creatures and the magic and teleportation and weird giggle water. And, you know, he's kind of the comic relief, but it's also, there's so much pathos to this character and you feel for him right up until the end. Um, again, no spoilers. But god damn it's good. It's not it's a, it's a good movie, but it's not as strong as, as I was hoping. Um it's the the best parts are the fantastic beasts themselves. There's a scene where you where you see the full range of beasts that Newt has under his command, under his care. And visually they're not like, oh, this is just a rip off of this. Uh, I was expecting to see, you know, where's the griffins, where's the dragons? But like we we've seen them. These beasts are new. They're largely something we we don't we haven't seen before, um, and I appreciated that. There were, the designs on them were creative, uh, really intriguing. There's you know one of them, the Niffler, this weird mole platypus that keeps stealing all sorts of shiny objects. Um, great, loved it. Um, there's a little baby Groot one, a, a bow dragon that just a little plant thing that just you can pick through locks. You know you'll you'll be coming out of the cinema going, which one was your favorite? Which one was your favorite? more than which part was your favorite. So the beasts were a real plus. Um, Colin Farrell's in the movie, and he is a dapper looking dresser, man. It's set in the swing in Prohibition era 20s, and I think that's reflected in the tone of the movie, because the Harry Potter films open with a lot of wonder, a lot of wide-eyed amazement, okay? It, it's a Chris Columbus movie with like, it's almost like a Chris Columbus movie adapting a Roald Dahl text because of how bright and sort of 
innocent and childlike wonder and awe we're filled with. In this, it's not. It's not Nolan dark and gritty, but it's it's a lot more serious than people think. Um, possibly because it's prohibition, prohibition era, magic is suppressed. Um, there are some elements that are really that are very new to this Harry Potter mythos that's been built, and it's kind of surprising. It's like, oh, okay, that that's all right. That's interesting. Uh, there's, a, there's some backstory added, there's some things that are going to be fleshed out in time. It's just a straight, it, it's, I mean, if you were hoping, if you're going and thinking, yeah, all right, I'm back on board, the Harry Potter fandom rolls again, woo woo, no, it's, it's, it's not quite there, but it's a serviceable movie in and of itself. It is the first movie in a franchise of five, which is nuts. Um... It's not going to be about the beasts. The second film they've said is not really going to be about Newt's commander and his pals. So it's, uh, it's, it, it's bloody hell. There we go. Which is a shame because there's an overarching story throughout this. That's about much more than what the title implies. Um, but really you just want to go back into the suitcase and hang out with all the cool looking beasts, man. The Thunderbird was my favorite. It was awesome. Uh, but yeah, those are my thoughts. If you like this vid, please click like, subscribe, view, share, and all the usual jazz. And I'll see you later on. All the best.